Alrighty mofos, welcome back. And before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to go ahead and thank Kevin for pledging $5 to my Patreon account. So thank you very much, Kevin. This video is for you. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to talk to you guys about how to set up your gulp file.js. So this file is basically the instructions where you tell gulp what to do. So basically, whenever you use gulp, you need to give it a list of commands. And these commands are gonna be different for every project. The ones I have for my website are, I say, hey, we have a bunch of SCSS files, go ahead and convert them to CSS, and then I give it another command. And I say, hey, you know those CSS files? Go ahead and minimize them. And then I say, go ahead and minimize all the JavaScript. So again, pretty much just a list of tasks or instructions. So before we can get into any of that, what we need to do is we actually just need to import this gulp file or directory right here. So you know whenever we installed gulp, it came with all of the source code that we need. In order to import it, what we do is we just write var gulp and just write require, require gulp. All right. So what we did in this is we just pretty much took all of this right here and we stored it inside a variable and that way we just don't have to write this over and over and over again. So now that we have gulp imported, we can pretty much just use gulp however we want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write the syntax for the method or task and then you guys are gonna understand how to write them. So you always write gulp, your variable right there and then you write task. Now, in parentheses, right after it, you need to give it kind of two parameters. The first one is the task name. And you usually aren't just gonna name it task name. I just wanna show you guys where it goes. And the second one is a function. So let me just go ahead and real quick, uh, let me just comment this out and say do something. All right. So every single bit of instruction is gonna be broken down like this. You're gonna say, hey Gulp, we're gonna make a task and this is gonna be the name of it. So again, whenever you, I don't know, maybe you wanna convert um, SCSS to CSS, you might name it SAS or SCSS or something relevant. But just for this tutorial, just to show you guys that you can name anything you want, I'm gonna go ahead and make a simple task called Bacon. Now inside here, just like any other JavaScript function, you just need to give it something to do. So what's the easiest thing I can imagine right now? Let's just go ahead and print something out in the terminal on the screen right there. So if you guys don't know how to do that, it's just console.log. And again, all this means is print something out in the terminal and just write something stupid like, wow, uh, I don't know, bacon is so juicy, looking good. All right, so again, what we did is we imported all the files that we needed in order to use Gulp. Now, once we had those, we're gonna make a new task or new function. So I named it Bacon, and whenever I use Bacon, all it does is it prints something out on the screen. So how do we actually call this function or use it? Well, what we can do is we can open up a terminal, or again, I already have one built right into my IDE. But if you want, then you can go ahead and just use your command line, or terminal, whatever you're using right there. But let me just go ahead and do this. It might be a little bit easier to see if it's all on one screen. So in order to actually use this, you first navigate to whatever directory your gulp file's in and type gulp, and then the name of the task. So this would be gulp bacon. Now go ahead and hit enter, and look at this. It first gives you some stats, and this is just saying, hey, we're using gulp, and then it does this thing, wow, bacon is so juicy. And again, all of these lines right here, they aren't really important, they just say, hey, we're starting this task, ending it, and it just tells you how long it takes. So again, that command, let me go ahead and type it here, is gulp bacon. So, we use the keyword gulp first because whenever you use the keyword gulp, 
then what it's going to do is it's going to look through this directory, whatever directory you're in, and it's going to look for a file called gultfile.js. That's why I said in the last video, it's very important to name it gultfile.js because if you name it something else, it's going to say, um, you don't have any instructions for me. So it's going to look for this file. That's what that gulp command does. And once it finds that, it's going to say, okay, what next? Bacon. So it's going to look through this file and it's going to look for a task called bacon. So what bacon says is just print something out on the screen. In this case, wow, bacon is so juicy. So that's why it printed this right there. And again, let me just show you guys real quick. I'll say uh, frogs. I'll say uh, frogs are cool. My caps lock is on. All right, my typing gets more superior as I go on. But again, just to show you guys, just so this sticks in your brain, uh, if you write gulp, forgot about that little caps lock thing, gulp, frogs, then it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna go through, look for that gulp.js file and call the task frogs. So there you go, that's the basics of how to create a task in Gulp. And again, you would never wanna have tasks like these in an actual project or you're probably gonna get fired or kicked out of school. So now that we know how to give Gulp instructions, in the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to create a task that is actually useful.